Um, I don't necessarily want to be treated meanly or anything like that, but... Women love strong men, and so yes. meanness is a very evident uh, demonstration of strength, and so it gets them very excited. But after a while... Vicious, mean men <laughs> attract women like this. And, you know, I like it when you say, yeah. I'm going to do this, and you do it. Or you, you, um, you have a determination, and you go for it. That is strength. And a lot of times, um, men are mean, <laughs> and they, they have that quality and they're mean for some reason, they have to be mean, and they feel, I guess, that that's the way they get what they want. But I, along, down the road, though, that quality is, is not what's going to keep a relationship together. Successful man is usually going to have a strong ego, and the reason he's successful is because he's put blinders on, chosen one direction to go in, and just put aside all distraction and just run roughshod to that goal. Yeah. So it's sort of hard to find a successful, strong tender. Right. Um, but then, you know, what's success? Is that making millions and millions of dollars and living around the hills? Yeah. That's a good deal okay. part of it. That attracts okay. a lot of women. Attracts a lot more women than being sensitive and sweet and poor. Well, okay. I, and I can understand that. And I don't want to be poor and I don't... But the thing I don't want in a man is laziness and a, an attitude about themselves where they, they feel that they're not worthy or they can't or they're satisfied and they have no motivation or, um, or goal. I know several men at, at this point that are not rich, but they have an attitude that I can do, I can conquer anything and I'm, I'm going after this. And right now uh, I'm going to be an artist and and they're growing, and there's, there's, you can see that there's a future in their lives. That, to me, is successful. If they never reach the Beverly Hills Mansion, that doesn't mean to me they failed. Success, to me, is that you, you still have your goals and your hopes and dreams and go after them, and you're growing, and you're also growing as a person as well. That, to me, is successful. And I know where, where I want to be in my life. I'm not poor and struggling. But I, don't, I wouldn't want a man to turn me down just because I'm, I'm not making millions of dollars a year. I, you know, that's... It doesn't work that way for men. You're married for looks, femininity. Okay, yeah, but... Um, it doesn't matter if she has money or not. That's true. I just said I wouldn't want that of me. I don't know. I, I, that's where I feel that men have got it wrong. Can we stop one minute? Yeah. Pull it this towards side. you. Towards you. Oh my god, look, he's on the Great, look. Okay. And one minute. Look at me, if you're for that. Yeah. Um, go for it. Ready? Are you here, Steve? Uh, these are just my lines. Um, what are the qualities that you look for in a man? Uh, it will just be me. Just, just a second. Um, the type of man who succeeds is a man who lives with blinders on and he goes direct towards the goal. And he's often not that sensitive over people that he has to run rush shot over to achieve his goal. You don't have to worry because men don't marry primarily for money. Men are attracted to women primarily on the basis of looks and femininity. Okay. Okay. Now, just go for the conversation because I'm going to get bored of you, okay? Okay. Um, now, we were talking about... Uh, I mainly want Nancy. Um, okay, we'll get Nancy. We were, men are wrong. Okay, I'll let you challenge me or whatever on this point. 
Um, I think that men are attracted to pity, how loving, how tender, how emotional, all the stuff that we don't have, mysterious. I think that's that what attracts men. Well, I disagree. I, don't, I think some men may be like that. I think a lot of men are very interested in conversation in what what um, women uh, how, how they communicate with women and there's a certain that comes with a certain intelligence and, some exper and experience um, I think their tastes influence you know, a man's decision as to whether they want to be with him with whether they're people who like to travel or if they're women who are in certain things uh, like sports or I, I disagree I, I okay I contend that what primarily attracts men is looks. That's your. I think maybe initially, perhaps, you know, that that's certainly. Um, I I don't fault men for uh, considering that and 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 the woman they want to be with, but I think it's very uh, narrow-minded view of women if it stops there, and I, I disagree. I. Uh, there, there are other things I think that men are very interested in. What, whether men, women want to, um, the certain things they enjoy doing, uh, the the conversation I think is very important. I think men are interested in the conversation they have with women. Um, do you want to spend your life, the rest of your life, with somebody who who can't converse in the things that you're interested in? Or, I, mean, I, I just, I disagree with that. Maybe some men are like that. But I think there's a heck of a lot of men out there who are very interested in, in the, uh, the character and the interests of women that they want to be with, and not just looks. Then, then women who are considered homely would never have a mate, if that were true. And those women just don't get stuck with the, the duds and the nerds, you know. It's, I don't think it works that way. I, I think if you have something great to offer, there are men out there who can see it, and that's what they want no matter what you look like. You were about to say something about 20 years ago. Oh yeah, I think that's the mentality of 20 years ago where women are just viewed, in, viewed as someone who, who is sweet and tender and emotional and can take care of the children, know everything about mothering and loving and understanding while the man goes off and does all the hard work and needs to come home to you know, a good massage. I don't think that's the way it works anymore. Um, women are very vital in society, they contribute, they're in just as intelligent, and um, I think that is a very, that's a quality that's very attractive to men. Uh, not that homemakers aren't, and that, that kind of character and personality isn't attractive, but there's, we are offering so much more, we're able to offer so much more in today's society that I, I can't help think that that's, that's going to be an influence in a man's choice. Uh, you can offer so much more... Than, than we were allowed to 20, 30, 40 years ago. Um, I think women have a misconception that somehow if they have a great career or have a good degree from a good university that that somehow makes them a better catch. Or there's some, I don't think that is what men care about. I think they want a loving woman. And if she's got a great career, that probably distracts from that. Well, um, I can't speak for women who have great careers, <laughs> because I don't. I'm kind of like in between, although I support myself totally. Um, I, I don't know about those high-powered business women. I don't know. You know, probably is very difficult, but then I assume at one point, if you're that wealthy, you can have somebody take care of the kids, which will free your time for a relationship or, or to have children and a business at the same time. But as far as myself, I can only speak for myself. I am a working woman. Everything that I own, I made, I created. I pay my rent, my car, my clothes, I clean. I fix things, I do everything. Um, I don't have children, but I do all that. Now, I'm not saying that that is something that makes a man attracted to me, 
but uh, I, I 